So now once the lead is created, once you have started working on the lead, definitely the next step would be to, uh, to create an estimate or a quote document. So once you start communicating with the lead, the lead will actually ask for a quotation document from you or an estimation document from you. So let's see how to do that. Okay. Okay, so here, you know, you have this plus sign over here. You see this plus okay. button? And when you, yes. and when you uh, yeah, so there is this option to create uh, a lot of things from here. You can create an email, task, phone number, event, or from, from this navigation too. And here you can see you have quotes. So if I click on okay. quotes, it will take me to the quote form in NetSuite. Again, this is one way of doing things. Uh, and another way is to actually, I'll just quickly show that too. So I'm on my quotes form, or you can call it estimate. Uh, in NetSuite, it is by default called quotes. If you don't want to use this navigation, you can also go in transactions, sales, and prepare quotes. So you will again land, land on the same page that we are on. So so there, there are multiple ways of doing the same thing within NetSuite. So here you have to select the customer or the lead here, but on this form, it is already selected. Point stuff. Okay. All right. Now on this quotation form, you can select the title of this quote, uh, maybe sales of services or any any beautiful title that you want to keep uh, that will show up on your quote record. So sales or training services. Uh, you can also select your expiry date because quotes or estimates uh, are time bound and they they expire at a certain point, right? So you can select your expiry date. So it's, this quote uh, would expire automatically on 13th of Feb 2022, right? You can select your date. So this is the date of the quote. So 7th uh, Jan is the date of this quote. And here you can select the, uh, the status. So at this point in time, this is all judgmental. So based on the judgment that you make, you can select the, the status. So at this time you are proposing or giving them a quotation. So it's in a proposal state. And you will notice that the probability of this quote being uh, being finalized is 50%. Now, if you move to a mm -hmm. next step, let's say in negotiation, after reviewing this quote, uh, if uh, the lead comes back and uh, you know starts negotiating, maybe on the price or items or whatever, you can select in negotiation. And now you will notice that the probability increases to 75%. So the probability of closing this deal is now 75%. And this is yes. reflected on, on your reports. So if when, when your sales team and marketing team are actually forecasting the revenues or sales that that could be closed. So this is this is how you know they can they can calculate those forecasted amounts based on the probability. So it's very important okay. that you select the right status. So it is correctly reflected in all your uh, reports where you are foreseeing the, uh, the revenue. So, yes. you know, and if you select purchasing, you know, you will notice that it is now converted into 90%. So it's, it's all judgment. I mean, uh, you cannot just predict the pro probability accurately, but uh, it, it all depends upon the experience of the sales trap and, uh, you know, the, the stage that you are, you will be selecting the status and select, setting up uh, the appropriate probability of closing the deal. Okay. And then here you can also select the expected close date. So this is the expected close that, that you are expecting this quote to be select, uh, to be finalized. So let's say if your uh, lead has a tender and they have uh, given a date on which they are going to be finalizing all the quotes, you can select that date over here. So meaning that, uh, you know, they want to finalize or close the deal by 10. So I'm going to select 10 as my uh, expected close date. All right. Mm -hmm. So these are these are some some general uh, or very uh, you know I would say conventional requirements when you are doing a quotation process. So it's it's very regular, and uh, here you can also uh, mention your memo. Uh, so if there's any, any description or any information that you want to capture, you can do that as well. Okay. All right, and then again, you know these are some some uh, some uh, custom fields. So I'll just skip them, but you can also give your department, class, and location. Uh, on this uh, particular uh, opportunity, sorry, this uh, quote document. And here you will notice the item staff. So as soon as you move down, same item staff. So pretty much the same process that we saw on the sales order. So you have to select the items that uh, you are giving your quotation for. I'm going to select my item, let's say. 
This is my item. This is the item that uh, this particular lead is interested in. Okay, so I'm going to select the quantity uh, that they are uh, interested in purchasing. Let's say they want uh, a quote for 10 quantity. And now since they are purchasing in bulk, maybe I I might be inclined towards giving them some discount, right? So I can select a discounted price level. I'm going to give them a discounted price of five percent. I'm going to select my discount level as five percent. And you will notice that the amount is all uh, you know updated. Uh, based on the price level that I've selected. So similarly, uh, you can also provide the expected ship date. So this is the ship date that, uh, uh, or perhaps this is the date that the lead has uh, conveyed uh, the, uh, to, to ship the goods. Maybe they want the, the goods to be shipped by 15. So you can say, capture that information as well. So, mm -hmm. so the primary idea here is to add all the items uh, for which you need to give uh, or send the code to the lead or your uh, customer. Okay. So okay. once you have entered all that information, you will review that. You will finally save this. Now you notice that this quote is in open status, uh, meaning that uh, this is still open to, to be closed. <clears throat> so now this can be closed in two ways. Either this quote is uh, is approved by the by the, uh, the, the by the lead, or uh, it can be uh, rejected by the lead. So in, in both the cases, uh, you can close this uh, particular quote document. All right, <clears throat> and you can also print this code document. So you have your printer button over here. You can select print and you can get a PDF of this uh, code document from HP. And if you want to separately email it to your lead prospect, you can do that as well. So this is a standard code format that comes out of NetSuite. Because yes. it has all the information and all that regular stuff. OK. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Just give me a second. All right, uh, so now this is an open status. And as I mentioned uh, that uh, there are two ways to close this quote, either manually, uh, if uh, the, the lead record uh, is no longer interested in this quotation, or this sales is not happening, or the second option would, would actually be converting this quote into a sales order. So let's see the first option first. So let's assume that this quote was sent to the, to the lead and they are no longer interested in purchasing it. Uh, they did not like our quote. Maybe we were uh, giving a lot of, uh, you know, uh, high price or something like that. So in that particular case, what you would be doing, you will be going edit this. And in the status now, you will be selecting closed lost yes so this is actually telling NetSuite that this this code did not uh, move forward and this is now closed lost and again as I mentioned status is very important so whenever you are getting your uh, reports which we are going to be looking into a, a few moments later uh, that it is all correctly reflected so you need to update the statuses accordingly so now when I select the uh, the status as closed lost you will notice that the probability automatically got to zero percent now because this is this deal is not happening. And when yes. I save this, you will notice that the status of this code will now change to closed. Okay. So see, the status is now closed closed meaning yeah. that uh, yeah i mean this this deal is actually not happening and now this is what it is going to be reflected on all your reports uh, right. okay so this is one way of closing this uh, 
somehow uh, another way would be I would just simply edit this and again change this data to open. Okay. I'll change this again to proposal and you will see that it will again uh, get into open status now. Okay, again, now it is in open status because it's, it's uh, in proposal 